Hi everyone and you're so much welcome to today's tutorial and I still remain your shoe making made easy to talk. Odurole Mojibola and today I am going to be showing you how I transform and hold slide into a totally new one. Of course I'm going to be helping you to know what it will cost you to actually transform your old slide into a new one. So I I'm sure you are ready with your pen and of course your paper to write down all the materials you need as well as the price for each of them as far as Abuja Nigeria is concerned. So if you're watching my channel for the first time I need you to know that all we do is make shoe making easy and simple. So if you're here for the first time ensure that you subscribe to this channel if you would love to see how you can actually create beautiful and made slides, wedges, heel and actually a lot more. So thank you once again just sit back and I'm gonna be right all right Definitely you'll be needing a pair of your EVA foam. I actually bought 3mm EVA foam plus my old sole. If you don't have an old sole, I would suggest that you of course have to buy a sole. A sole here in Nigeria for this particular rubber sole where I stay is about 600 naira. So that's just that for our sole and our inner sole. I'm going to be placing leather on top of this. So the first thing you're going to be doing is you're going to be placing your outer sole right on top of your mako, which is actually also called EVA foam. So if you want to get to a Nigerian market and ask for this, you tell them you need mako. So you just say you will need mako 3. But if you're buying online, just Google EVA foam. Then when you, of course, get to the site, you can pick the size or the thickness you want. So I'm just going to outline this. Outline it gently and cut it out. So each of them will be for the left leg and the right leg. As you can see what I have right here. Now I've finished my outlining. So I'm going to be cutting. Please when you are cutting, I'm going to suggest you don't cut exactly on the line. Cut outside it. As much as you can, make sure you cut outside this will help you not to have an undersized inner part So let's check what we have cut. So if you look at it, you find out that it's perfectly sizing it. It's perfectly sizing it. So now that I'm through with my trimming, I'm just going to go ahead and get my sandpaper. This is quite rough. Just get a little sandpaper the rough one and then go ahead and then rough on the surface before you apply gum to place your leather. Ensure you at least start the part you place on your sole because you still have your pen right on top of it. So that's not where you're placing your leather. You'll be placing on the other side. Please note that. So with this, this is actually my leather. Like I said, of course, you'll be needing about a quarter yard, a quarter of a yard of this particular leather for this design. Now, this doesn't necessarily mean this is how it is applicable to all design. No, it, it will definitely, it can be smaller for others. You might be able to use a pair for some designs, but this particular one, you definitely need about a um, quarter of a yard. Yes, you won't finish the quarter, but... For the leather, I mean this inner, as well as your pattern cutting and your lining, you would need about a quarter. You won't finish that. So please note, about I think a quarter of the kind of leather I use is about 800 naira, which is actually about a dollar. So what am I doing now? I'm outlining it as well. So after that, apply your gum.
so if you touch it's dry so you're going to systematically arrange it right on it start from this part please just do it with care You can see that one way or the other, I miss this position. Please be careful so that you won't end up missing where you're supposed to place it. So the next thing is to just trim it off. But you can check this side to see what it looks like. And then you trim it off. So you can see what we have right here. So for our pattern templates, please go ahead and use the video you have on the screen right now. Just after this particular video, you can go ahead and watch it. I will also keep it at the end of this video so that you can click and watch how to create this particular pattern. You can actually use a straight strap and a straight strap and you will just turn into a V. You can see it's just like an L shape. So you can actually do that. Please check it out so that you know how I created it. So all I did right here is arrange them here. I think I started with a smaller one. You can see I arrange it here. Then I have another one arranged here again because I need two of this. Since each leg has two, I have one here. And then we have another one right here. So make sure that you turn right and left. Please ensure you do that. So the next thing I'm going to be doing, I'm not cutting it out. I'm going to apply my contact cement adhesive. Now, it's also called a full stick in Nigeria. You are going to, you're not going to be using this alone. You are going to be lining it. So whatever leather you want to use as lining can be this same leather. It can be this same leather and it can be something softer. You understand? So if you are buying um, like a pair of this leather, for example, it's, it will definitely cut your pattern and also fix your insole. You understand? But it will not fix your lining. So it's either you actually buy a quarter of this and use this same leather as your lining because you can definitely use the same leather as your lining or you can decide to buy another color if you so desire, maybe like a nude color, you understand? You can actually use the same leather as your lining provided the leather is not very thick. What I have here is not actually very thick but it's very glossy. So I'm going to use this and I'm going to use like a softer leather as my lining so make sure that you don't cut it out before you apply the gum because we are not going to be stitching it so let's apply our our, our contact cement adhesive it's also called a full stick here in nigeria All right, so I've applied the gum. I've cut out all of my main leather. This is what I'm going to be using as my lining. It's actually softer than what I have. Like I said, it's not compulsory that it has to be softer. But if you think your main leather, which is the, this particular one, is very thick, ensure you use a lighter one for it. If it's not too thick, just like what I have here, you can use the same leather as your lining. So I'm going to just arrange it. You can see I didn't cut this out either. And I didn't cut this out until after application of the contact cement adhesive. This will help you to have a very neat job. You won't have, you know, gum all over this particular surface, even as a beginner. So let's go ahead and arrange this and see how it perfectly fits into all of this. So... 
So arrange them all. All right, the next thing we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking our time to actually trim all of them out. Please ensure that while you are trimming it, you try to bend your scissors so that your lining, in case you are not using the same color of leather, won't be showing at the edge. So I'm going to see you tomorrow as we show ourselves how to actually last this particular beautiful V-shaped design. So make use of the video on the screen right away to actually watch how to create the pattern. And I'm going to see you next time. Bye.